Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide the download link uh, with PHP, okay? So in my previous video, I have shown you how you can do that, but uh, that was uh, only uh, suitable for doing uh, with uh, with lesser number of uh, download path uh, because uh, the path we are going, uh, we were uh, hard coding in the download.php, okay? So here is the file. So here you can see in the download.php, uh, we are uh, uh, we are forwarding the user. Once the user click uh, clicks the download option, so this is the index.php actually. So once the user is clicking that, we are actually calling the download.php from here, and we are just giving an if loop and uh, taking the ID of uh, the file and setting the path of the file and dynamically downloading that file okay but we will have to set the path uh, by uh, manually getting a, a if else loop okay so what if we have a thousand files so we cannot uh, create a if loop if else loop like this for thousand files it's not practical anyway so in this video i'm going to show you how we can set that uh, using a mysql database as a backend so we'll be using uh, the help of mysql database okay so I have uh, just opened my localhost MySQL database. So I have a database uh, named custom link in my localhost and I have a table named file. So this is uh, the content of the file. So the files have uh, this much column fake ID file name and downloading. Okay. So what do we have to do is uh, create a, a create a table inside your MySQL database and um, do like this. Uh, in one column put the uh, put the direct download i mean the actual download download link and uh, create a fake id for uh, that each files okay this one is optional you can put or not no problem so uh, what we want here is the fake id and the download link okay now i have collected some of the files here so in the files folder i have a different type of files add.txt uh, jpg file uh, and doc file uh, pdf file excel file and zip file so okay so we'll be trying all these uh, downloading uh, creating a download option all these type of files so we'll be actually calling this fake id we will be passing this fake id uh, from uh, the user end and once they click it will dynamically call uh, the actual download link of uh, the file okay so let me go back to index.php and now uh, instead of uh, i i'll i'll modify uh, this page a little bit and uh, let's see how we can do it okay so here we are uh, directly setting the path as download.php okay so we can mask that one also by using uh, the rewrite rule okay so i uh, will have to create an st access file uh, in the root folder so i'm gonna create that first let's see uh, now to make this text file as stxs file just go to file save as just select the type of document as all files and the rename the file as st access like this okay now just save it that's all you have created stxs file let me open this in my notepad plus plus now I'm going to write a, a simple rewrite rule for our download.php to hide or to mask the, the download.php page from its actual link location. Okay, so let me write it. Yes, I have uh, just uh, written the rewrite rule in the stxs file. So this is how it looks. So uh, our localhost slash d will take you to the download.php and slash uh, d slash any uh, other uh, uh, any other numbers or uh, with uh, uh, the with uh, the alphabets it will take you to download.php and pass a variable like this uh, as the first uh, variable so i'll show you how this works now let me restart my uh, uh, restart my exam server and I believe this will work anyway. So we'll try. Go to local host page. Then just going to slash d. Yes, you can see it's actually going uh, inside uh, the download page. Okay, since uh, the path is not set, uh, it's coming like this. I'll I'll show you it. So let me let me remove uh, this completely from here. If loop. So 
the path we are setting as t.pdf okay now if i'm just going to localhost and putting slash d you can see the text file should download here okay yes so the st access file uh, is working well now now let me let me uh, go back download the, uh, the part i mean download.php again so i'm going to write uh, we have to pass the fake id from as i told from uh, the database we have to pass this fake id to the downloads.php here okay so i'm i'm going to write the uh, code here and i'll explain that okay yes i have uh, just uh, altered uh, the index.php with these so uh, each href link is pointing to d slash uh, uh, their fake id from the database okay fake id from the database so yes let's try this uh, what's getting so in so once uh, the user clicks this link so uh, the browser will re 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 uh, redirect to download.php okay so let me let me remove all this here i'm just uh, giving a echo tag to get that uh, uh, variable and just print that okay so it will like uh, get and uh, so the variable name will be u okay let's see so it will be like this u okay yes that's all now let's uh, try this from the browser now let's go to the browser if i'm just refreshing this one we can see I, it's like uh, one by one each uh, uh, each link so if i'm just hovering here you can see down here the link of each file d slash jj0910920 like that so if i'm just clicking this one we can see it's uh, taking me to d slash uh, i mean taking me to download page and just uh showing that uh, uh showing that i fake id okay so you can see here i'm just echoing that okay so here from here now i'm just removing all these getting back to the all the uh code so from here i will receive that uh, uh, fake id and using that fake id i'll uh, take uh, uh, the actual path from the database and uh, force the browser to download the file that's what i'm going to do now so let me write the code to get the connection to the mysql database a simple query to take uh, the actual download link from uh, from the fake id and download that set the path from the actual path of download and force the browser to download okay so let me write that code here and i'll explain okay Yes, I have done all the required modification and added the code to take the value from uh, the database. Okay, so first, uh, this column is my server name, so username and password of my root, and we are pointing to the database name custom link. Okay, so this is the database name custom link. Inside there, there is a for table files. So in the files, we have all this data. Okay now again, we are uh, getting the connection here, and if the connection is uh, wrong. So the download won't work. It will just show uh, the display connection failed and the reason for the error. And now here we are just cre uh, creating uh, the query, select download link and file name from files were the fake ID. So once we receive the fake ID here, we are using that to uh, create a query here. So once uh, the query is successfully run, we, we are taking uh the path and file name from the database is uh, this here so once we got the real uh, actual path of the download and the file name we are forcing the browser to download the file okay now going back to our page if i'm just refreshing here now if i'm you can see the download path is a local host uh, here local host jj091 if i'm just clicking that it should download the ads.txt okay now if i'm uh, clicking this one it should download uh, the second file and this is the third file fourth file fifth file and sixth file okay now let's see the download path of each you can see the download path of each one is uh, the custom one okay you can see this is the uh, each one of the each one uh, have the custom download path of our 
custom download path okay so this is how uh, you can uh, uh, create a, a custom or uh, download path or uh, we can hide the actual download path of uh, the file uh, with having a if you if you are having a, a lot of files say uh, a thousand files you can just create a fake id and download link and file name like this and you can call dynamically the files of uh, the path of that file and download that file from the user side okay so hope you got this i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and if you have any doubt please comment below i'll try to help you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching